Hi everyone! Welcome to my class. I am Jojo from Jojo Yugi Kids. Uh, some of you might have already uh, done my other class that I recorded a, a few weeks ago. Um, and I thought as it was yoga day yesterday, uh, I would create another one for you. And um, so I hope you enjoy. Now we are going to go on a magical adventure to the rainforest. And I've actually got my special hula ruler skirt on. Um, and so if you have any kind of fancy dress that you would like to wear on this journey, then please grab that. You can choose some sunglasses, it's very sunny outside, and some shoes, some sun, uh, some, I've already said sunglasses, some, um, I've got one of these things, the kind of necklace or a belt or anything. Normally in my classes, I have a huge treasure chest of stuff that we can choose from. Um, but as we're still at home, then you will have to grab something yourself. Also, uh, as some of you might be familiar, a lot of my classes are to do with uh, music. So, we are going to use, if possible, a musical instrument today. Um, if you have any kind of percussion instruments, that will be awesome. Um, I've got a maraca here. Any kind of shaky thing, a bell, a dingy dongy thing, a tapping instrument, a woodblock. Um, I've also got my famous singing bowl, which we'll also be using. So I've got this kind of bowl, and I would also like you to have some kind of bowl. It doesn't have to be one of these special singing bowls, but just a normal bowl, mixing bowl or normal bowl that you eat your cereal from in the kitchen um, that your parents have given you permission to use. Something like this, for example. And um, of course if you have a mat then that would be amazing too. So you can, um, you can work on that, but if you don't then you could get, just have a little space. Okay, so, also, if you wanted to play a music, um, or have some music going on, I have left the music link below the video um, that I always use as a kind of soundtrack to my, um, to my classes. So, please click on that if you want some kind of music, musical background going on. Uh, so, let's start. We're going to get up onto our feet, okay? And we're just going to warm up by getting onto our tiptoes. I'm going to do it from the side. And we're going to stretch up. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy up. And then just fall down like a ragdoll. Just falling down like a ragdoll. Just really, really hanging there. Good. And we're going to do that one more time. Stretching, stretching, stretching up on your tiptoes. And then falling down. If you can take a breath out, exhale. Then brilliant. Maybe sway your arms from side to side if you want to go around. You can. Okay, now we're going to do funny walks. So I want you to imagine that you are going into your mother's cupboard. Okay, and you're going to find her highest heels. I'm talking really high here, really high. And you're going to get go into the cupboard, find her highest heels, and you're going to get them. Okay, picking them up, and we're going to put one on, one by one. One on, and then the other. And you're going to go to the back of your mat, as you should be already, and you're going to get them to your tiptoes, as we were doing before. And walk really steadily on the tip of your toes to the front of your mat. And can you turn around? Be careful not to fall over. Ooh, these heels are really, really, really high. Okay. Are we almost at the back of the mat? I definitely am. Turn around and we're going to take one off. One by one, one off, ooh, and the other off. Put them it back in the cupboard. 
close the cupboard and let your arms hang down, good. Now we're going to get onto the side of our feet, okay, the side of our feet, and we're going to do a really funny walk on the side of our feet, oh, really weird, really weird, but maybe you find it fun. We're going to go to the front of the mat, can you turn around on the side of your feet, okay, and walking back on the side of your feet. Very good, okay. Now, facing front again, we're going to do one more. So I want you to imagine that you are a really old person. You're gonna pick up a walking stick and you're going to wobble that walking stick while wobbling your legs. Do wobbly, 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 wibbly, wobbly legs like an old person. Oh, my back is really hurting. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. And we're going to turn around. Uh, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Oh, God. Are we nearly there? Okay, I've reached it. Okay, and we're going to put our stick down the side. And we're going to get our normal young legs back. Oh, oh we, we made it. Okay, good. Now, are we ready to go to the rainforest and meet the hula wula woman? Now, every time we say hula wula, we're going to see if we can do this motion. And we're going to say hula wula, hula wula. Are we ready? I'm going to count after three. One, two, three. Hula wula, hula wula, hula wula. Hula, hula, hula. Good, let's see if we can go the other way. Hula, 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 hula. Very good, okay. So how are we gonna get to the rainforest? I want us to get onto our bottoms, seated position, stretching out our legs, and we're going to see if we can cross the ocean. I wonder, who has actually swum in the ocean this year yet? It's been very nice and sunny. So we're going to go over the ocean. First thing I can think of is going on a boat. We're going to row our boats. Okay, so we're going to stretch our arms up and row our boats. Okay, good. And if you can't stretch your toes and your feet, it's absolutely fine. Just go wherever you feel is comfortable, but making sure you're making this action. Okay, now, as I said, music is a very big part of this. So we're going to get our singing voices out and we're going to sing. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, now I'm going to get my little ukulele and sing along with you. Okay, we're ready. Now I want all of us to be doing exactly that rocking rowing motion. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Very nice little yogis. Okay, so now another way to go on the water is, can we think? How else can we go on the water? We get through the water. Especially if we capsize from the boat, we're going to get onto our knees and go onto our tummies. We are going to have to, you guessed it, swim. So we're going to stretch our arms out. And if you want, you can activate your legs as well. So you're going to activate your legs. See if you can do it really strongly. You're going to do three more. One, two, three. Nice, good, well done. Okay, now... Sometimes we really, really want to just be 
superman, don't we? Or superwoman. So we're going to stretch our arms out now and see if we can raise our legs and be superwoman or superman. And bring our arms down, well done. Now, finally, we're going to get our, our arms in a T shape and just rock from side to side. As if we're kind of like on a on a plane this time. Okay. So suddenly we've gone from Superman or Superwoman to a plane. Okay. Good. Now, what's another way that we can get there? Especially if we have just landed on dry land. There's always a rusty old bike there somewhere, isn't there? So we're going to get onto our backs and get onto our bikes and pedal our legs really, really, really fast. Really fast, getting even faster. Who can be the fastest? I wonder. Really pedaling those legs. Woo! Bit of a workout, especially in the heat. Very good, well done little yogis. Excellent. Okay, and now finally, the rusty old bike is getting a bit slower because it's quite old. And we're gonna have to put that bike down. And to get there, we are going to have to find something a little bit faster. So, stretching your legs out, we are going to hop on board the rainforest train. Okay, so we're ready. Now, if you have someone next to you, an adult or a sibling, brother or sister, they can go behind you and stretch their legs out behind you as well in this, in this shape. Okay, make sure that you've got a really nice back, really nice and tall. And we're going to stretch out in front of us. Okay, those behind you can do it from the side like this with your arms. But if you're the one in front leading the train, you're going to go to the front like this. Okay. Okay, we're going to get faster. We're getting faster and we're going to go to the left. We're going to go to the left. Good. And then to the right. And we're getting faster to the front again. Good, we're getting faster, we're getting faster. Oh my gosh, I can see a big elephant coming towards us. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to really stop very quickly and stretching down. Oh God, that was really, really close. Whew. Okay, and coming back up again. I don't think we're there yet though. We're gonna have to continue. So stretching our arms up again. Doing our train motion. If you want to do a sound effect as well with your voice, with your voice, you can. And we're going to slow down, slow down, slow down, and then stop. Hanging your head down, seeing if you can stretch far in front of you. If, again, if you're behind someone, then you're going to stretch your arms to the side. And, oh, I think I need to be fanned by my rainforest leaf. It's a bit hot in here. It's a bit hot in the rainforest. Now, usually in the rainforest, what do we have lots of? I'm going to give you a clue. What kind of sound am I making or action am I making? Yes, you guessed it. We, there is a lot of rain. Okay, so we're going to make a little rainscape. Okay, so we're going to think about what it's like to have the sound of the wind and the rain 
And then when there's a huge storm, what do we hear? The clap of thunder. So you're going to use your imagination to create those different sounds. We're going to start off with a really subtle wind and rain, okay? You can use your mouth, your voice, to make the whooshy sounds. You can use your hands to clap once we get into the storm. You can use your hands against your knees or your thighs. Or you can stamp your feet. Or if you have your percussion instrument, then you can grab that, for example, maraca, as I said at the beginning, and you can grab that and we're all going to see if we can do it. So we're going to start off really nice and quietly. Okay, and we're going to get louder. The, the rain is really thudding down now. If you want, you can tap on your knees. It's getting louder. Oh, I can hear the clap of thunder. Clap of thunder. If you want to clap, I'm going to use my lap again. And hold on a minute. I can see some sunshine. And the storm has stopped. So we're going to just be nice and silent, putting our legs, our feet together, palms out like this. And we're going to just stand in silence. We're going to breathe for three. So we're going to breathe in for one and out. You can do it, you can go through your mouth or closing your mouth. Breathing in for two and out. Breathing in for three and out. Good, okay. The calm after the storm. So, are we ready now to meet the hula ruler lady? What do we do when we say hula ruler? Should we try that? Okay, are we ready? Let's do some pelvic rotations. Hula ruler, hula ruler, hula ruler, hula ruler. And the other way, hula ruler, hula ruler, hula ruler, hula ruler. Good. Okay. Now, standing tall and straight, the hula ruler lady lived in a hut. You're going to stretch your hands up, up, fingertips touching. Feet should be slightly kind of hip width apart, like this, okay? And she lived with her husband, clasping your hands, who was a woodcutter. Now, if you can't see my hands, they were like this for a hut, and now they're like this for the wood chop, for the woodcutter. Okay, so he was a woodcutter. I know we met another woodcutter in my last video, and we're going to do exactly the same, but this time we want to have our feet really wide apart like this, and we're going to chop the wood like this. Chop, chop, chop the wood, chop the wood together. Uh, can we see if we can sing all that together? And chop, chop, chop the wood, chop the wood together. Good. Now they lived right in the middle of the rainforest and they were surrounded by loads of animals. Now, can you think of any animals that you would see in a rainforest? I can think of a few. So we're going to get onto the bottom of your mat and we're going to do, think about what we can see. I can see a monkey. All right, so we're going to do three monkey leaps. I'm going to face you and, see, and, and do it in front of you beforehand. Okay, to the front of our mat. So let me demonstrate first. <laughs> like that, like a monkey. All right, so at the back of our mats. Let's see if we can do, do three to the front of our mats. Are we ready? One, two, three. Very good. Lovely light steps as well. Let's see if we can do three going back. Are we ready? Getting our arms swinging. Good. 
Very good. Okay, you can also always do sound effects as well, like I'm trying to do. Okay, so there's a monkey swinging through the beautiful trees in the rainforest. There is also crouching down. I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to do or what animal I am. Have you guessed? Yes, there will be lots and lots of frogs because it's really wet and rainy in the rainforest. Okay, so I want you to squat down and from the back of your mat you're going to do three frog jumps. I'll be ready. And ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Get turning round and back again. Three more. Let's really use those those knees. Ribbit, good. Ribbit, ribbit. Fantastic. Okay. Now, also, there was also. A beautiful butterfly or assortment of butterflies. So we're going to get onto our bottoms, seated on our bottoms, putting the soles of our feet together. If you like, you can clasp your toes with your with your hands and flutter your legs like a, like a butterfly, like butterfly wings. Beautiful, lovely. Now. I have a song for this, some of you might remember it from last time. It goes like this. Butterfly, butterfly, where do you go? Where do you go? Where the sun shines, where the sun shines, or oh, where the flowers grow, or oh, where the flowers grow. Lovely. Now, what colour is your butterfly? Mine, as I explained last time, mine's always going to be yellow. Beautiful golden yellow. But you can choose anything, any colour at all you like. Okay, so I'm going to take my ukulele again, which is yellow, and we're going to sing that song one more time. See if you can sing along. Are we ready? Three. Butterfly, butterfly, where do you go? Where do you go? Where the sun shines, where the sun shines, where the flowers grow, and where the flowers grow. Beautiful, lovely singing voices. Okay, now there is always a hula hula, uh oh, have I said the word? I think we're going to have to get up on our feet, aren't we? And we're going to do the hula hula pelvic rotations. Pretend that you have stepped into a hula hoop, okay? And we're going to hula hula our hips around. Hula hula, hula hula, hula hula, hula hula. And the other way, hula hula. Hula, 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 hula. Very good. Okay, so by the river, there is always a lovely, friendly, but could be scary, but he's not. Lazy crocodile. He loves it when it rains and he loves it when it's sunny. We're going to get onto our bellies. And propping ourselves up on our elbows like this, clasping our chins in our hands and kicking our legs up, just minding your own business as a, as a big alligator or a crocodile. If you want to whistle you can, rotating our necks, very good, well done, okay. And his friend, who's always nearby, who's always hissing through the forest, is Sid the snake. So we're going to get our palms down underneath, beneath our shoulders, and we're going to push up 
really gently. So our chest is raised and we're looking up above in front of us. And we're going to do a big Okay, so we're going to lower our chest down. Raising your chest up again and do a big kiss to hiss. Good. And down again. And one more. Raising your chest. Very good. Now we're going to go on to all fours. Fantastic. And just making our toes connected like that and our knees in like a V shape. We're going to press our bottoms down onto our, onto our heels. Stretch down, stretch down, stretch down. And place your forehead onto the mat. And have a little bright breathe. Think about all those animals. And breathing for three, two, one. I want you to slowly get up. You can do any movement you like, any movement at all. Think of that rainstorm that we created earlier still around it could happen again soon okay so getting on to our back onto our knees and now let's go back to the hula rula oh have i said it again the hula rula okay we're going to do a few more hula rulas just a few more are we ready standing um, hip width apart and hula rula -ing. and the other way hula rula good now she wanted to make one day a, a bug soup and her husband who was the wood chopper clasping your hands up coming down again let's do one of those good and up and down wanted or always went foraging in the rainforest and in the Ritnahulu River to find bugs for a bug soup and it was the hula rula lady's speciality okay now i wonder we're going to sit on our bottoms again and stretch out our legs like this and i wonder what kind of bugs would you think would be in a bug soup can we use our imaginations i think what do you think i can think of some bugs like caterpillars Crunchy beetles, ladybirds. What kind of ones would you find in a in a rainforest? Okay, so I want you now to grab your bowl. Okay, now I've got my singing bowl here and my normal bowl, and we're going to grab all those bugs that you have in your mind. Grab them in front of you. Grab them. Grab them. Oh, what have I found? It's like a huge beetle. I'm going to have to put that in my bowl, aren't I? Grabbing from every direction. Grabbing from every direction. All the different bugs you can put in and you're going to get them and you're going to put them in your bowl. You're going to get all those bugs and put them in your bowl. Okay, now... Imagine, even though your bowl might not be as big as this, imagine your bowl was this big. And we're going to clasp our hands in front of us and give it a big stir. Stir that bug soup. Stir it. Stir it round this way. Really seeing if you can stretch to your toes. And if you can't, that's absolutely fine. And now we're going to stop at centre. And go round the other way, stirring our bug soup. Yum, yum. Good. Now, there is a song that we could sing, and we're going to do it one more time. And it goes, There's bugs in my soup, bugs in my soup. There are bugs in my soup, there's bugs in my soup. 
Shall we see if we can join in? One more time, clasping our hands in front of us and going one direction, then the other. Be ready. And let's box in my soup. Box in my soup. There are bugs in my soup. There's bugs in my soup. The other way. Bugs in my soup. Bugs in my soup. There are bugs in my soup. There are bugs in my soup. Good. Okay. Now, do you think maybe it's time to eat it? Hmm. I'm not sure actually. There's one thing that's missing. From the Hula Wula River, there are beautiful lotus flowers that come up and they are of all different colours. Think back to the colour that you chose for your butterfly. Maybe you could choose the same colour for your lotus flower or a different one. Okay, so I have lots of petals from my lotus flower that I've, cho that I've found and they're red and pink and purple and that always gives it the, fun, the bug suit, the finishing touch. So I wonder if you could get any kind of flower, pluck it from somewhere and hold it in your hands and put it in your soup. Oh, and give it a bit of a stir, give it a bit of a stir. If you want to do another big stir, you can. And the other way. Okay, good. Now it is ready to eat. Now, first of all, we're going to though pretend we or imagine that we are a lotus flower, and I want you. Perhaps I'm going to do it this way. I want you to lie on your back, and you're going to bring your arms up and lift up, and see if you can touch your toes and come back again. And touching your toes again. One more time. Back. And touching your toes. Good. Now, if there is one, if there are more of you, then you could have each other in a kind of circle, and you're going in and out at the same time, which created, which creates a lovely, beautiful lotus flower. Okay. So, are we now ready to eat? Them? The, uh, the bug soup. I wonder, sometimes we need a little bit of salt and pepper, don't we, to season it up. So I'm going to get my bowl and I'm going to grab the big salt and pepper grinder and grind it in. Oh yes, salt and pepper, lovely. Okay, now taking your bowl towards you, I want you to get your big spoon and you're going to have one huge spoonful of it. Mmm! And thinking about the taste, I want you to think about what you're tasting. And really imagine those bugs in your mouth. Are they soft and sweet? Are they crunchy and big? Are they small and sour? How are they? Just have it in your mouth. Mmm! Hmm, mine's a bit crunchy and it's a bit sour, a bit on the bitter side. That, oh, I could taste the, the lotus flower though, that was nice. So close your eyes, just imagine that taste in your mouth. Hmm, and when you've swallowed, I want you to open your eyes and... Just tell the person next to you what, how, how it felt, how it felt in your mouth, what it tasted like. Mmm. Oh, okay. So, it's always really, really good to actually sit and appreciate your taste, the taste in your mouth when you're eating, doing it really, really nice and slowly. Okay, so, that was so... It was such an adventure and we've gone, we've met the Hula Wula woman, we've gone to the Hula Wula river and we've met all the animals and we've eaten a really special bug soup with lotus flower. So I think 
Oh, can I stretch your arms up and we're going to get into, we can have a bit of a rest and we're going to get into what we call Shavasana. So, lying on your backs, feet width, of, uh, hip width apart and palms facing the sky, seeing if you can close your eyes. And I want you to continue closing your eyes. And while I'm going to get up, and I'm, you're going to imagine a beautiful lotus flower, the lotus flower that you we had in our bug soup. Okay. And think of that lotus flower floating on your toes. It's floating on your toes. And then it glides up. There's water trickling as well because of the raindrops. It's floating on the water. It glides up to your knees. And it goes all the way up to your tummy. And it goes all the way up to your chest. Making sure that you breathe and think about that lotus flower and the trickling water. And it goes down your right arm, up your right arm, across your chest, down your left arm, up your left arm, up your neck, onto your nose, and over your eyes, and it sits right in the middle of your eyebrows on your forehead. This beautiful lotus flower. And actually, you could think of it as a butterfly as well, if it was the same colour as your butterfly. Fluttering its wings or showing its beautiful, vibrant petals. Okay, well done little yogi. So, thinking about that lotus flower or butterfly on your forehead, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to slowly come up from your back. You're going to roll onto one side, folding your legs and push yourself up into lotus position, crossing our legs. Lotus position is a different position where we have our leg over there. I'm unable, unable to do that. So, crossing our legs and still thinking about the lotus and the butterfly. And we're going to close with singing bowl, thinking about that bug soup, thinking about all those tastes and everything that we have gone through today on our adventure. Lovely, well done. So we're going to put our hands into our, up onto our heart centre and I'm going to pass a namaste to you and you can choose to pass a namaste to me or anyone else in the room. Namaste. Well done, okay. So, if any of you have, or oh, parents have any feedback you'd like to leave me, please do under the video. Or you can subscribe, obviously, to my channel. 
and I hope to see you another time very, very soon and you get to experience and enjoy this beautiful sunshine outside. Bye-bye. Until next time.